Aim of this experiment is effect of acetylcholine on guinea pig ileum. Objectives of this experiment are to understand the phenomena of peristalsis, to understand the terms spasmogens, spasmodics, spasmogenic, to understand the terms spasm, tonic spasms, a tony, cramp. Guinea pig ileum is a smooth muscle preparation of small intestine and is known to involve in peristaltic activity. Peristalsis, stalsis meaning constriction, is a progression of coordinated contraction and relaxation of circular and longitudinal layers of muscle which pushes foot bolus onwards. The movement depends mainly on intestinal distension which initiates nerve impulses to the enteric plexuses and to the CNS, enteric reflexes and returning parasympathetic impulses from the CNS increase motility. Sympathetic reflexes, however, decrease intestinal motility. Parasympathomimetics like acetylcholine by its muscarinic action increases peristaltic activity. Isolated guinea pig ileum shows normal pendular movements which can be modified by acetylcholine. Balancing the right and liver. It is ensured that the right and liver is balanced with approximately one fifth of the length of the liver on the plastic end and four fifths on the right and pen end. After the liver is balanced, a little plastic is placed on the right and end at approximately the same distance as the balancing plastic but opposite in direction. The right hand lever is then set for recording. Adjusting the right hand lever and tissue holder. To study the effect of acetylcholine on guinea pig ileum, isolate the ileum part of the intestine. Clean the contents of ileum by washing it with tyrol solution in a syringe. Avoid damage to the smooth muscle lining of the ileum while washing. Take a piece of 3 to 4 cm long ileum and mount it in the organ bath containing thyroid solution. Maintain the temperature of water bath 
at 37 degrees centigrade. Aerate the muscle preparation with aerator. Now stabilize the muscle preparation for 30 minutes under tension of 0.5 to 1 gram. During stabilization, wash it with fresh quantity of thyroid solution for at least 4 times. Start the drum and take baseline for about 30 seconds on smoked pepper. You will see guinea pig ileum under normal condition show pendular rhythmic movements evident from the pattern of dressings. Now stop the drum and inject 0.1 ml of stock solution of acetylcholine in the reservoir containing ileum. Start the drum immediately and record the contractions for 30 seconds. You will observe upward movement of tip of frontal writing lever on smoked paper. Stop the drum and rapidly wash the preparation with fresh quantity of thyroid solution. Allow relaxation of the contracted ileum in about 4 to 4.5 minutes. This completes one time cycle of recording in 5 minutes. Repeat the procedure by using 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution. For recording of every response, a 5 minute time cycle is followed. Now measure the height of each response in millimeter. Please note that height of the response is indicative of ileum contraction. You shall observe that with the increasing doses of acetylcholine, contraction of ileum also increases. Hence, we can say that cholinergics show spasmogenic action. You have learnt that smooth muscles of intestine exhibits rhythmic intrinsic activity regulated by central and autonomic reflexes. Cholinergic are spasmogenic.